Luke said to me, he said, Chris, we're going on a cycle tour at the beginning of April. I said, no, it's going to be freezing. It's Wales. It's going to be <laughs> wet. And he's like, no, it's going to be amazing. And he's right. We're off on another adventure. This time we're cycling from Cardiff on the south coast of Wales along a cycle path called Route 8, which is one of the most difficult routes in Britain. And it runs through the heart of Wales to a city called Bangor, all the way up on the north coast. Chris and myself, Luke, just left Cardiff, our starting point. And now we're cycling north along the River Taff sun is shining, here comes another adventure. Luke, I wouldn't go in there, it's very, very dangerous. Luke? Luke? Get out of here, go, go! It's late afternoon now. Luke and I are cycling along a fantastic woodland path with the sun settling through these trees. It's been a good day's ride today and hopefully we can find a good place to set up the tent and camp for the night. Just in the tent. Uh, we only just got here because we were running out of daylight. Just found here a very large poking stick. Get up, Luke. We don't know exactly where we are, do we? We're in the middle of what we think is like a mountain bike BMX track. Yeah. And Did a bit of BMXing this morning. Whoa. <laughs> so we've done about 45 miles from Cardiff. So where are we going today, Luke? We're going into the Breckens. Ooh, the Brackens from yep. Wales. Ignore the Ending, summer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your Sunday. Bye. Just left camp. We're just heading towards the Brackens now. Come across this dam. Beautiful scenery. Made it for breakfast. We're so lucky to find this place. It was going to be water and porridge. Let's order some food. Yeah. We haven't got a card machine because we got no signal. Where's the nearest cash machine to here? Yeah, that which is about seven miles away. I've got five euros. 
I've got I've got gift do you vouchers. Even, do you have Wi-Fi? <laughs> no Wi-Fi. Oh. No, we literally have nothing. <laughs> including including vouchers. Can, does anyone ever get any signal here? No. You can't even literally get any for like no online banking. Ever. I've literally got um, one fourteen in. No, I got to find some extra money in here. We need to eat. The last hope is that I've put some spare cash. Yes! We can eat. Could you lift towards you anything? Yeah. <laughs> can we get the. Uh, can we get two ploughmen? Yeah. And then the Victoria's Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Come well there, boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Loads of Sunday riders out today. Everyone loves a mountain bike in Wales. We were having a bit of trouble, weren't we? Because we thought we didn't have the battery pack and for the camera. We thought we'd have to end this film right now. <laughs> Over. Over next video. And um, we're not exactly in it anywhere where we can buy a battery pack, are we? So we've searched the panniers and Yeah. <laughs> we've got the battery. We've got a battery can... charger and spare batteries. Now you can watch the rest of the video. Welcome to the Welsh Valleys! Wales! I thought that's just that was Jamaican. Is it so Jamaican? <laughs> I really want to go for a swim in that. Yeah, right. It is April though. Remember April, you don't do bike tours in April. <laughs> and there's, look, no one's about. Look, empty. Out. Where should we go? We should just, just keep on riding. Look at that. Beautiful. That'd be my ideal house, that. It's like something out of Game of Thrones, isn't it? I'll probably overdub the Game of Thrones music. We're going to get charged for that. Classic British Library, I believe. Sorry, do you mind? Shh. Library. You actually need to use a phone. Beware, toads crossing. Hey, watch Luke, toad in the road! Gas? Gas. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, are those pedals? Yeah, barefoot pedals. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Hi. 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 Wait, are you going around Wales or something? Or? I've not seen barefoot pedals before. No, I had to get them from Germany. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy Germans. No, you've got a, oh, a um, schlaf, is it? Or a, your, your gear, is that? Oh, roll off, roll off hub. Ah, oh, I've heard of this. I've got a friend. Have you come across Josie Jew? She cycles all around the world and things like that. She's written a few books. But she's talked about it a lot. Pass you on the most way Yeah, give us a beep. Yeah. Not an angry beep, but a pleasant beep. A chilled beep. <laughs> Just got a puncher. Taking all my bags off. It's a nightmare. But we are outside Morrison's. 
options. All fixed? Yep, tie fixed. And. <laughs> reward sandwich. sandwich. Nice. And reward Snickers. Cycle from Cardiff through the Breckens. Um, now we've set up camp. I'm just making a cup of coffee, which I think is boiled. It's been beautiful sunshine all day. It's been a hard day. It's been pretty hilly up and down. It's what I expected. I'm not a seasoned cycle tourist. So yeah, it's been hard work. You get the rewards. Wait for Chris to come back. <laughs> so here we are at night. We're in the farmer's field. Don't know if you can see the bikes oh, now. the farmer coming now. What? Oh, oh, here comes the farmer. Yeah, yeah, it's all down there. So we're yeah, all, yeah. all set up, got the tent, all stealthy. Brilliant. Yeah, set up, so. Excellent. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all the best. yeah thanks, guys. Yeah, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Keep going you. to uh, good so luck. Thank all right, you. Thank you. Much. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah, thanks so much. If you hear some hooty things and slithery things, <laughs> Not the slithery things. That, no, I can't no, deal with that. I can no, deal no, with no, hoots. There's no slithery things. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 might see red kites in the morning. Really? There's a lots and lots of red kites around here. Wow. wow. So they're, they're almost yeah. extinct, weren't they? Yeah, they were almost extinct. But there's loads of them flying around in the. In oh the wow. Morning, so, so we'll uh, try and yeah we'll try and catch that in the morning. And it's going to be fine. There's no rain predicted all week. Really? Yeah. All week. All, all week. week. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> According to the BBC. Good for the guys. Yeah, nice. Oh, I had the red light on Luke. How did I turn it off? I was holding it subtle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was red light on it. It wasn't subtle. <laughs> Chris, you're the least subtle <laughs> cameraman of all time. Oh, hilarious. What a lovely place to wake up. Ouch. No shoes. Luke. Oh, morning. Welcome to day three. <laughs> where are we? I can't even remember where we are. On a farm with the Breckens in the background. Yeah. Oh. What are we doing today? Cycling. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, at the moment, this is beautiful. We've got the Breckens, we've got the tent, we've got this whole beautiful sun coming up in the morning. Yeah. There's only two of us who can actually like this at the moment. Whereas if you put this on Instagram, hundreds of people can like it. Millions. Millions, well, hundreds. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe yeah. a mum and dad. Yeah, a mum and dad. <laughs> but, but, it's, but if they all came and did it, they could all actually like it. Oh, 
choices. That one's downhill and that one's uphill. So which way are we going Luke? Uphill unfortunately. What goes up? Sorry Luke, my water bottle fell off. Ah, here they go. My three water bottles. Wanted it split open. So my tyre is bulging a little bit. Which is either you've got too much air in, pushing the wall out when you, because of the weight of your panniers at the front, or it's just popping out and it needs pushing back in. But to do that, you need to uh, let some air out. Yeah, that's in there. That 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 should work now. These inner tubes are awful. It means you have to the valve can unscrew when you unscrew the pump, which is a nightmare. That's already happened a couple of times. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a sensitive operation. Breakfast is on me. <laughs> Apart from we took the wrong turn here, we, we <laughs> might actually not be getting breakfast. The hill was such a good downhill that we missed the left turn on the hill. We were that excited. We were like, yay hill, missed the turn of more five miles. <sighs> Nice. We just ate and now we're on the route eight. Quintessential Welsh countryside. Hello. Hello. Ah! What's your name? Ah! Marg? Her name's Marg. Oh, ah! I'm not scared at all. Lovely animals. Oh, they don't want attention now. Ah! Hi. Hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> put a notice down the bottom there as well. I know, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your directions. What are you doing? You just a bit of maintenance on the bike. It was my wheel was squeaking. So I thought I'd go and buy some lube at this shop. I've noticed we've done a lot of filming of maintenance on your bike. Yeah, just yeah because, we, that's, that's because yours cost about 10 times more than mine. But if you don't want this, if you want a maintenance free bike tour. Can I just say, while that is a better bike, Thorn Nomad, it's called Thorn Nomad, by far the better bike, that bike there has cycled all the way across Europe. It's cycled all around England. Not a so good bike, but this bike has done a lot of miles. We're going that bridge. Where are we now? Can you remember? Because all I know is we're following Route Eight. And that would take us to the north of Wales. You've got to love a Route 8. So there's the hill that we just climbed. As always, when you climb a hill, you get a reward. There you go. Good metaphor for life, that. If you want the downhill, you must do the uphill. Oh, rabbit. Just, rabbit. Ra just ran across, <laughs> look. A bit of sunlight. Some nice scenery. What more could you want? On the bike, and it's been a tough, bit of a stop and start day. And I've 
I've been struggling with my knee a little bit, but it's all worth it when you get up to the top of the hills. Woo! Here we go. Navigating the sheep. There we go, it's okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. find a campsite for the night. Hey Luke, yeah. so, so what's going on? We were cycling along and the light was fading. We we're going along the forest track which runs through that hill over behind which you probably can't see because the light's fading which is why we're so desperate to find somewhere to camp came along we thought we found a field and we just didn't want to camp in it because there's too many houses nearby I knocked on the door and this friendly guy just said yeah come in he said I've got a field here use it he's invited us back in for a cup of tea <laughs> Come in guys. Cheers. So what's your names? I'm Luke. I'm Van. Van. Hi Van. Hi. Chris. Chris. Luke and Chris. I'm yeah. trying to remember that. In the morning, I'll be gone. Okay. okay. I'll leave the doors open. Maybe that one, maybe that one. Probably that one. Okay. Just come in, use the facilities. Make yourself a cup of tea. Alright, thanks. Alright, thanks All right. a lot. Thanks yeah. so much, yeah. And if you're struggling for food, I've got a bit of porridge. I haven't got a lot of it. So we got we got some gear with us. Uh, okay. Yeah. Full moon tonight, Luke. Tent update. It's absolutely freezing in here. We've been at Van's house, who's the guy that let us stay in his field. Just been having a great chat. And we are now back in the tent, wishing we were back in the house. <sighs> so cold. I, I've been talking a lot recently about where your brother is. Yeah. So John, like I know you were Mr. Adventurer. You've got some amazing videos on YouTube, over hundreds of thousands of hits. But now All right, you, no need to plug his videos. It's a little plug. Eastern yeah. Europe Cycle Adventure. Check it out, it's really good. <laughs> and Jay Ellis. John Ellis. Jay Ellis. Yeah. In a roundabout today, John. Stop going for your posh skiing holidays. Come yeah. on a proper man's adventure. Yeah. Or you freeze your ass off in a tent. Shh. No, it's so warm, honestly. <laughs> I might have to take these layers off. I'm, probably, I'm just wearing this hat for effect. I'm going to go to bed now. And we'll catch you in the morning where we are headed to another town with a Welsh name that we can't pronounce. Luke? Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Okay. Please be open. Yes. It's a chilly one today. Ooh. Shivering that much, they spilt it. <laughs> Who said do a bike tour in April? We think we're just at the end of this track, so we're somewhere around here. And we need to go to Ryada. So today, we are the riders of Ryada. Looks like something from Labyrinth. You know, 
The power of voodoo, you do. The power of voodoo, <laughs> you do. The power of the babe. Da -da. Remind me of the babe. Yeah, right, yeah. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Luke. Everyone's wondering, like, why we're wearing coats, hats and jumpers, but it was that cold earlier that I just don't want to take them off. It, 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 do you know what? I'm just right on all these gear, on all these layers. Yeah, doing nothing when I start cycling. Yeah, I'm all right. My knee is really starting to play up and I got the first aid kit out. I've been trying to find some bandages to strap it up with, but I'm struggling. Chris has kindly cycled a little bit back into town just to see if there's a pharmacy. We've got to keep cycling, we're in the middle of nowhere. I have some good news. Mr. Bandage. You ready? The big reveal. Knee. It even says knee on it. It's skin colour as well. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Oh. Uh, Where are you headed to? We're going to Banga. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Which way should you do the same? Yeah. Are, you, are you going yeah. to camping sites or just no, pitching wherever you want? Yeah. We're yeah. farmers' fields, we just ask for farmers. Yeah. Yeah. They all say yes. Alright, guys. Alright, enjoy. Nice to meet you. See you okay. in a bit. Bye, bye. Sun out that eye. <laughs> Tim, please run away with the cap. Yeah, please run away because it looks funny, but please don't because I'm going more. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you going to pick it up for me? Let me pick it up. Yeah. Meeting a fellow cyclist. shoes back on, just gave them an air bath for quite a few miles. We are trying to find a place to camp and we are struggling. The light's fading. Um, there's always sheep in the field whenever yeah. we see a field. It turns out that they all the best fields go to sheep, uh, not to humans. I'm trying to find a bit of flat land for a tent at the moment, it's proving a bit of a challenge. So, yep, yeah. let's go, let's hope to find somewhere. Come on, Chris. Oh, yeah. Are we going to find anywhere to camp anywhere? Uh, what, you have to just a bit of flat we're, ground? We've, we've missed time the light and we <laughs> were meant to get further, but... Right, about a mile up the road, yeah. there's a picnic site. Is there? Oh. Yeah, uh, 
Um, the we're, loos get closed overnight, but oh, there's... Oh, we only just want to get our heads down and go Yeah, down. there's flat ground up there. Is there? Yeah, but you are a little bit higher than this, so I'm sitting only about a thousand feet, so there's your 850 here. So. Yeah. Yeah, about a mile, but it's a bit of a slog. Yeah, <laughs> all in. Well, it's, it's, it's a good warm up mile from yeah. here. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yeah, that's but no, good. there's a nice flat bit of ground. Cool, so. because all we were like. I've just been uh, just been told off by the park ranger for uh, camping here. Even though last night we were told by a couple down the valley, down the valley, that this was okay to camp on, and I was just just been told off. Um, and the worst part was he didn't even care it was Chris's birthday today. Ooh, oh, that knee! <laughs> birthday, Chris. Good morning. Morning. How have you got arrested this morning, Luke? I got a. Uh, I nearly got tackled by a Welsh Ranger. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what a great spot, though. Well, it's fantastic, probably why I don't want to see it. <laughs> um, yep. I think he thought the car was mine as well, but I explained it wasn't, but then he... I think it was one of them where I... I, I think he was angry already. I oh, do you know, I slept quite well last night. And I could hear the wind, but... Super tense! <laughs> Chris's birthday today, so I've got him a special cake, which is one of his favourite, a sorine loaf, and I've got some candles. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to stay lit. Stay lit, stay lit. Hi Luke. You alright mate? Happy birthday. You have to, you're going to have to blow these out before the... Um, Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to me. Sorry. <laughs> what a perfect cake. <laughs> Not know that. Ooh. Present. <laughs> this is a merino wool. It's a white merino wool top, and Luke's been wearing his white merino wool top. And I said, oh, I'd love one of those, and he's been wearing it for the past few days, <laughs> not knowing he's got one in his bag the whole time. <laughs> I try it on. Suits you, yeah. Merino. Birthday present. Fresh. You know, I, but I stink so much. My, I haven't washed for four days. <laughs> We need to jump in some water today. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> you see the water, you're like, it looks so cold. <laughs> mm, that's really well made, Luke. Well done. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Mm. I really put a lot of effort into that. It's nice nice cake. A rain jacket on for the first time, but we do have a fantastic view. I'm struggling a little bit with my knee, come quite a long way, climbed a lot. When we get to the top, I believe there's a seven mile downhill, which is what we're looking forward to. Can't talk for too long, gotta to keep pedaling, catch Chris up. Jeff cakes, carrot cake. Yeah, nice. good work. So, uh, see you later, Luke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what did the guy in the shop say? He said that it's a hell of a pull up. Well, we got a hill coming. He says, yeah, I think so, on the way we're going. 
but he said it's one of the best bits. Is that you might see the American jet planes come because that's where they fly through the pass. It's called the pass. Okay. Up we go. It's like they fill you full of custard and then go, yeah, now I'll now try and get out. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get out of this town, they've built a wall of mountains. You've not seen any footage of probably one of the, one of the best bits because it was so cold, we just had to get out of there. It was a seven mile downhill though. It was a seven mile downhill, but it was so cold. Now, and also the other reason that we haven't got footage of that is because you can't just get everything through Luke's bag. Right, that's it now. So, <laughs> and so the record button wasn't pressed. No, no, no. It's because you need to do it yourself. Yeah, because to you need to do it yourself. It. Yeah, it was a very good downhill, seven mile downhill. Very you can't good. experience life through a lens. Well, you can. Subscribe here. <laughs> Bye. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> house church the church oh Probably at the top of it. I don't know where it goes, could go higher. It's huge. Back in another hour's ride until we reach the next town where we're going to eat some food and then we've got, we've got to hurry up because it's going to get dark and we need to find a place to camp. So let's go. Buying low, almost there. We just come from that hill slash mountain. It's a nice evening. Yeah. Once again, heading for a campsite, hopefully. Just gotta keep quiet though because there's a hotel behind us. Beautiful scenery, sun setting. Gotta find a campsite. Sorry, it's all right. I want to say hello to it. It's all right. <laughs> I want to do is wish you. <laughs> Sorry. I had a very nervous night last night. Why did you have a nervous I, night? I had hardly any sleep because we're next to the estuary here, 
and we started hearing water noises and then somebody said started giving me emergency procedures oh sorry um, <laughs> <laughs> that what to do if the water came up it was like a fire exit drill <laughs> told me where we would locate you wouldn't have got it on camera by the way because the camera would have been the first thing to float off yeah that water did come up high up last night it looked it's out now but it, it, that was all covered in water Whoa. chris is finally going in yeah it suddenly it suddenly drops <laughs> It just suddenly goes cliff edge. Woo! Woo! I think he's trying to warm up now. <laughs> So, great story, last night my parents called to wish me a happy birthday. I told them I was looking across an estuary to a town called Barmouth in Wales, and they couldn't believe it. They said, Chris, you do know you're camping next to Minnie Don, the adventure centre we came to when you were a child. So I stopped and put two and two together and suddenly realised where I was. I'd been here before. Well, we found it, Chris, where you came as a child. What a blast from the past. Down towards the game tree, tennis court, all through the woods, it's lovely. We need on. A good childhood memory. Hey, Chris, you're doing great. I used to come here. It it's the first place which led me to adventure. Jonathan, this is. Jonathan. It's the first thing that blew my mind. Wow, you can canoe. And now it's nothing, but back then it was like, wow, you can kayak to a bridge. My sister also named her child after a friend she met here, Abigail. So, good memory. Yeah. Good memories. There we are, we're just going to pass Chris there. Woo! We're headed towards, I think it's called Barmouth, um, where we're going to try and get some food. Charge the batteries for the camera as well, because they are running a little bit low. Uh, we're just going to cross over the bridge in a minute, so hopefully we'll have enough uh, battery to catch that. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa! Check that out, Luke. They've built scaffolding on a boat to fix the bridge. Shop. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> to the beach. <laughs> right here at the moment. We're Barmouth. Just, yeah, and we're just on a promenade. 
Now we could follow the road or I think this here, this is just a promenade. You know, like a path. Okay. And, and I think you can take that all the way up here and then go. That's a train line, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh. That's a lovely pick and mix. Yep. And slightly addictive. Yeah. I just had a ramen raisin fudge. Oh, is it good? Mm, very nice. How good was it? I have to say I prefer the plain fudge, but it's still nice. So what, is the plain fudge nice? Yeah. I can't get someone get killed. <laughs> I just nearly caused a traffic accident when I brake for fudge. But it was all worth it. <laughs> that learner driver nearly ploughed into it. I know, I saw it. I love the fact that as you cycle past, like mums and dads with children and they see you on a tour bike you could be planting a little seed in their brain and then one day they'll be the cycle tourists of the future Luke just slipped on the stand <laughs> you alright? yeah I'm alright I like the way you went for the camera first <laughs> for the benefit of the viewers at home Luke, Luke, what are you doing? Sneaky rest. Sneaky rest? Yeah. Well, I'll see you. Chris. In the middle of loads of fields. Uh, we just met a farmer. He allowed us to camp in his land. Is that him? Is that him now? Here comes the farmer. Oh, he's herding the sheep, look. That's okay for you. See the mech one. Yeah, anyway, it's fine as long as it's grass. We'll just be gone in the morning. We're just gonna... Oh, yeah, yeah. Ideal. It's quite dry here, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a bit boggy though. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. We do, I didn't want to go at the side because that's where you drive up. I didn't oh, it doesn't matter. Because, um, All right, we might just go next to the wall then. Close to the wall, it's warm. Right, a bit of a windbreak then, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Just in the tent at night, and it's very, very cold. We had a pretty good day today. Uh, we met some really good nice people, ate some good food, did some, uh, some good cycling. Chris swam in the sea and I think, I'm not sure if Chris is awake anymore What was your favourite part of today? My favourite part was when we met this guy at breakfast he just he just so clued up about the world They know who I am because I have breakfast with you every day, I know <laughs> Not you Luke <laughs> That was my favourite person I met but the favourite bit was actually I went to a, mini, a place called Mini Don It was where I used to go when I was a child and it was where I first understood adventure the thing is, what people don't understand with bike touring is that it takes time. You know, every pedal, every pedal is a little bit, just a little bit, 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 little bit. Before you know it, you've cycled around the world. We've stuck to the number eight route, and if anyone wants to do the number eight route, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a great, great week tour. We're gonna go to bed now. Good night, YouTube.
Morning, Luke. Morning. Day number six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's harder to get up when it's been raining. I don't know why, it's a psychological thing. It doesn't matter once I've got my shoes off. It's but. raining last night. The reason gear one is the most powerful gear is because it gets the car going. So we've left the campsite where the farmer let us stay last night. I think it's about two miles down this track. It's a beautiful track, which we've had to ourselves, not seen one person yet. Go get some breakfast and then head up the coast. Catch you in a bit. Welsh towns. This is 80% Welsh speaking here. Really? In the first language, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, my, my, I've got Welsh descendants. Some, well, my grandma's Welsh. Yeah. She was Welsh speaking, yeah. but uh, she's accents... from Port Maddox. All right, yeah, yeah. Important port, that one. Come to Bangor, it's beautiful. The Menai Suspension Bridge. Luke, we're almost finished. Route 8, we are now leaving Route 8 to go to Bangor Town Centre, north of Wales. Do you, um, do you read music? Hardest route in Britain, Route 8, South Wales to North Wales, complete. <laughs> 